ultra short video for you here. Uh, lesson seven. You guys, you guys are really getting spoiled. Um, focus of this this day is is unknown angle problems which involve parallel lines and transversals. And you you did a, you've done this work in earlier courses where you had parallel lines caught by a transversal, and we even reviewed it earlier this year. Okay, um, so we're just going to a little bit we're going to have a little bit more advanced diagrams, and you're going to have to come up with angle measures based on given information here. So the first thing we want to talk about is something called an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line is sometimes useful when solving for unknown angles. An auxiliary line is an additional line or extension of a given line drawn on a diagram in order to help solve for missing angle measures. So see this diagram right here? This this dotted line here was not really there. So you got to pretend it wasn't there. The given the given diagram really and you can even draw that the the given the original given diagram was something like this. Okay, it was like an M looking thing with kind of skewed M looking thing. More like that. Okay. It did not have that. And then they gave you a 41 and 35. Well, what what the what this person decided to do was, well, I know if this is parallel, these are parallel, right? If I could get another parallel line going through this point right here and just draw another parallel line, right? I now have a bunch of parallel lines cut by transversals. I have a, and I can even extend more here. I could I could extend up there, I could extend that, okay? So it's parallel line cut by a transversal. See that right there? Parallel lines cut by a transversal. So if this is 35, this guy is 35. And then same thing here. We got, I'm going to do it on here. We have a parallel line here and a parallel line here. And it's cut by this transversal. See that? And this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. So if this is 41, this angle must be 41. 35, this must be 35. Alternate interior. F is 35 and E is 41. So what is the measure of angle W? Well, the measure of angle W, W is just E and F added together. See? So we use the auxiliary line to break it up into two equal angles so that you can use parallel lines cut by a transversal and alternate interior angles, which we already know about. If this guy right here we said was 35, and this E is 41, then I know W, the whole angle, the whole angle right here is 41 plus 35, so 76. I know that's 76. All right, and then one more example here. So now they want us to find D and E, right? And they didn't draw auxiliary lines. So we're, you can kind of tell like it's an incomplete picture, right? So we're going to draw some auxiliary lines here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna extend this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it in black so it's the same. I'm gonna extend this guy right here. I'm gonna do this a little neater. Alright, so I'm gonna extend this. Alright, so now I have one line right there that's parallel. Wow. I thought I said I thought I said neater. I just can't do it. Okay, so I'm extending that. Um, I'm going to extend this guy here. I don't even know if I need it yet. Um, and let's see. So I have, so if I extend that, I have a parallel line here, and I have a parallel line here. Okay? And then I have a transversal. This is my transversal. So I know that D and E are equal, they're alternate interior. Okay? Parallel lines cut by a transversal. See it? So I know D and E. I already know D and E now, just on my auxiliary lines. I know D and E are going to be equal. So whatever D is, E is the same thing. All right, well, there's, now there's a few different ways to do this. Okay, so um, I have, I can, I can do, let's see. I can say, all right, well, this is 122. I can, I can draw an auxiliary line here. I'm going to start doing it dotted. I can do an auxiliary line here, okay, and I can do an auxiliary line here. See these? See the arrow? Little arrow means per parallel. So I know these are parallel, and this is cut by a transversal right here. Look at this. 
parallel lines cut by a transversal again. This is 122. This is 122. See that? Alternate interior. Alternate interior. So this is 122, so that's 122. If I know this is 72, D is the leftover. So 122 minus 72 gives me 50, and I know D must be 50. If D is 50, I already said E was 50, so I know D and E are both 50. There it is. All right, so sometimes you got to get a little creative and use auxiliary lines to help you, but we're going to start off in class tomorrow with some easier stuff, and then we're going to move into some more complicated pictures like this. But it shouldn't be anything crazy. It just takes practice and seeing it. You just got to practice it to see it. All right, I'll see you in class tomorrow.